Good Monday, makers. I hope everybody's doing good, having a great holiday week. I'm doing fantastic, and I've got some great conduit builds to show you, including a holiday light display that you're not going to want to miss at the end. Might change how you decorate for the holidays. I don't know. But here we go. The first one we've got is this wonderful roof rack by Nicole. She wants something customizable, easily adapt down the road as her needs change, and then a little bit uh, longer of a size as well. And some neat details in here. She used a cattle panel or this wire mesh uh, that looks like a good bottom for her roof rack. Silver connectors, they look sharp with conduit. And then I uh, got eye hooks on the corner there for tying it down. And then use this neat trick. These are solar, solar water collectors, water heaters. And she's got two of them and linked to a video about how to do this. It's uh, from REI and it's a way to create these solar heaters for water on top of a roof rack. And it goes in and shows you how to make those. And they're made out of ABS pipe, which is really cool. So you can check out the link if you want to see more about that. Uh, but she also, on the front, has this air spoiler. And uh, just looks like a really great thing. And if she wants to modify it down the road, like she's saying, uh, she's able to do that. So, Nicole, thanks so much for posting that to the community. Uh, here's one by the Table Arts Center. And this is a unique performance build. And there's a, an orchestra. Let me, let me make sure I got this right. This was for a performance art event at the Table Art Museum Grand Reopening. Um, and then the musicians tore up the score and then taped it to the outside so the audience could see what was actually going on. You can see that's the score of the performance right there. And um, they have it on this clear plexiglass holders so you can still see the performance. And oh my gosh, look at, look at the carnage. We got broken plates and smashed. That, that was... Uh, I bet quite a performance. Um, but yeah, so the frames are made out of half-inch EMT, our connectors, uh, and then everything's painted white with these little clips to hold the plexiglass on. And you can see it from a couple different angles. But yeah, neat build. And uh, yeah, what a performance. There's there's remnants all over the place. So uh, Table Arts Center, thanks so much for posting that. Cool to see. Here's one by Nathan. He did this as kind of, a preparedness for his basement. He It floods, apparently, and he made this rack to just lift uh, some things off of the ground so in case it floods, it doesn't damage whatever's on the rack. So uh, pretty simple build. Um, Use three 10-foot lengths, a couple T's, a couple 90 degrees, and some end caps. And uh, yeah, really easy way. But uh, by maybe the staining on the concrete, this happens once in a while. So how uh, better to be prepared. So that's a neat idea from Nathan. I can see a lot of people taking caution with that build and doing it for themselves. And here's one, as promised, <laughs> this is from Mike and Jeff. And take a look at this. They made a just epic light tunnel with all these programmable lights. And they included a video, but take a look at the different visualizations that they can do with all these lights and use MakerPipe as the frame. Just a wild, wild thing to walk through. Really appreciate the video, guys. And then here's a couple pictures of the frame. They used T's, uh, made these panels, and then linked it all together into that walkway with the epic light show. So really cool. And and I don't, again, I don't know if you want to do that at your house or in your neighborhood, but a really cool thing to check out. Thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate everybody posting their builds. If you like seeing these builds, if you want to see more, definitely consider subscribing. We'd love to have you. See you next week.